Once you're ready to start building, you're going to see these two vertical dotted lines. Now, these are guidelines within the builder that we recommend you keep your content in between. The reason for this is this is the area that most page visitors, regardless of the device that they pull your site up in, is going to be able to see. You know, if they have a smaller screen than you do, or if they're pulling your site up in a device like a tablet that just naturally has a more narrow screen, if you keep your content between these two lines, most customers will be able to see it. Now, ultimately, it is your website. You can decide to build outside of these lines if you choose. Just keep in mind you might be limiting the number of customers or page visitors that can see that content. Now, moving on, the horizontal dotted lines are the sections on your website. And this is just the area that you're able to place content. My best suggestion would be to build within the sections because when our system pulls the information you build here to make your mobile site, it's going to pull it in sections. So any elements that are placed in this section on the desktop are going to be placed in the same section in the mobile. But in the mobile version, you can't move them to a different section. They're stuck in that box. So if you want you know, a picture and text box and button to all be together in the mobile, just make sure they're all in the same section in the desktop so that you make it easier on yourself when it comes to the editing of the mobile site. Talking about sections though, I do want to mention the header and the footer. The header is the top section and the footer is the bottom. And any element that you put in either of these sections is going to show on all pages. There's not a way to turn this feature off. It is really important to have because this is the area that you need to put your company logo, your company name, navigation menu, contact information or contact buttons, social media icons, uh, because that's stuff that you don't want people to have to search for. You know, the company name and logo, that's branding. You want people to be able to see that no matter what page they're on. And you also don't want customers to have to search for your contact information because it makes it less likely that they are going to take the time to do that. In the footer, people tend to put copyright information, or if you have a Better Business Bureau logo, that's a good place to put it. And then people oftentimes also duplicate the contact buttons or contact links and the social media links down here because you want customers or page visitors to be able to see that information easily. Um, so if you don't want an element to show up on all pages, just make sure no part of that element is in the header or the footer and you should be good to go. Um, lastly, I want to mention this checkered area down at the bottom. This area is just space for your website to grow into. So if you extend your page, it's going to go into that space. But if you put any content in the checkered area, it's not going to show up when you publish. So don't put any elements in there. Keep it all in the sections up here, and it'll show up on your published site. Um, my best suggestion, though, would be to just get in the builder and explore and play around in there for a little bit to see what all is available because you might be surprised at all the different features that you can discover. Um, so other than that, happy building.